3 and 6 in the afternoon. Okay, I'm recording. I'll be back with the evening outlook in just a few minutes. Thank you, Glenn. Starting tomorrow, people struggling to pay their rent because the pandemic cannot be evicted. Now, some fear the moratorium will create new risks. Channel 2's Lauren Posen spoke with landlords about their new concerns. We have a lot of problems, but we may not have the large scale. Where is the support for companies like us? Clovis and Regina Ogborn work with rentals throughout Georgia as property manager for other investors. The eviction moratorium the CDC issued Tuesday bans evictions through the end of the year because of the pandemic. Oh my God. <laughs> That was my first thought because I said our investors have struggled through these past five months. I reached out to the Atlanta Apartment Association. The organization represents yeah. hundreds of companies that manage rentals. They sent us a statement that reads in part, they believe the eviction moratorium is creating new risks. Quote, if residents are unable to pay rent as a result of the pandemic, owners are then also at risk of not meeting their own financial obligations putting that community and its residents at further risk for housing insecurity and putting the owner's employees at risk for job insecurity. Our organization is extremely disappointed that the federal government has made this move without including any direct financial assistance to residents or property owners, end quote. For landlords and property managers, the Oswald say there's a misconception. They are able to stay afloat. They say this is not a one-size-fits-all situation. We only ask our investors to pay us if we if they receive rent so if they're not getting their rent we're not getting our salaries either the national apartment association says it plans to lobby for more assistance to not only help tenants but landlords too reporting live lauren posen channel 2 action news hundreds of